Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for considering this proposal. And thank you for considering this mode of being able to demonstrate what we're trying to share in respect to this research study. This research study sought to better understand the implementation of the UDL framework through a district-wide professional learning experience and overall measuring the level of teachers' ability to implement the UDL framework based on administrator observation. Of course, at the end of the day, we're looking at learner variability. And the learner variability we're seeking to be able to plan for and design for in a very systematic way and to be able to address the barriers in this process is the Universal Design for Learning Framework. We all believe, or many of us believe in its impact, believe in the fact that teachers need to be using it and teachers need to be using it at the level of the uh, ability to reduce barriers and meaningfully plan for the three primary principles, of course, the guidelines and the various checkpoints of the UDL framework. And so this study sought to basically address the level of UDL implementation so that we're planning for learn variability and we're also trying to remove barriers. And our question tried to address, in a way, the $64,000 question. And that is, how do we go about, in a meaningful way, implementing the UDL framework to a point that it's actually a measurable difference in teacher practice? And so how do we go about doing it, and how do we go about measuring it? So our efforts began with a professional learning model. And as we know, there's many out there today. There's face-to-face, -face, there's online, there's through teacher development. There's variations, and what we decided to do is we decided to look at the primary principles of the standards of learning forward, the old staff development association. And in so doing, the, the, so there's some critical elements. There's practice, there's demonstration and practice. There's elements of the fact that there needs to be fostered collaborative inquiry and learning that enhances both the individual and the collective group, as well as the fact that we need to appreciate and plan for differences in the way individuals learn. And so we actually integrated in elements of the UDL framework, and we can go into better detail in our actual presentation of the essential elements that we identified and utilized from the Learning Forward standards, as well as how we integrated the UDL framework into the actual professional learning experience. It was a district-wide effort, and so the district-wide effort was utilized across grade level, elementary, middle, and secondary, and content areas as well. And we involved teachers from buildings across all the districts. Now, the research study basically examined the following. Well, basically asked for the following. If participants were to participate in, or let's say if educators were to participate in an effective professional learning experience, one that aligns with the standards and the essential elements of professional learning, if they were to participate in that, and we had peers that did not, would there be a difference in their level of UDL implementation? And the answer is yes. Now wait, Sean, how did you folks uh, measure the level of UDL implementation? Well, we used a reliable and, um, by, uh, a, a reliable and valid measure where administrators annually would observe teachers in their classrooms and measure them on their level of the UDL framework implementation. So what you see there is a black line of our participants that attended this effective professional learning or professional learning based on the effective standards. And we noticed that as a group, they grew while the dotted line shows individuals that did not attend. And while initially they began at a higher level, they actually declined over the course of that academic year with the measurement being in the spring of one academic year with the intervention being provided during the following academic year, so spring, spring, so spring pre, spring post. And in so doing, we realized the level of success of the professional learning that, again, aligned with essential elements or the standards aligned for effective professional learning. We'll get into in this presentation, of course, what those elements were, what it looked like, how it aligned to the UDL framework as well in terms of the integration for the professional learning. We'll get into the demonstration practice and some of the essential elements. We'll get into the design of the study in a much clearer way. We'll also get into the measurement and how this was used, the process used, and it's very much aligned with teacher observation, which is seen as an effective practice. And then, of course, get into a much greater detail of the data. Thank you very much for letting me present in this way. I hope you'll consider this proposal in a very favorable manner for us to be able to present uh, in 2019 at the IRN. Thank you.